This is reading lesson number 81. This lesson is for you if you struggle with reading. I am April McMurtry, a professional reading specialist, dyslexia specialist, and the developer of the Learn Reading Program, and I'm teaching you to read through 100 videos. It's important that you start with lesson one, and I have that video linked for you in the description below. The first 10 lessons are taken from my Begin Reading Packet, which is linked next to the number one in the description. Lessons 11 through 80 are taken from my Learn Reading Program, and those worksheets are linked next to the number two. Lessons 81 through 100 are taken from my Adult Reading Class, and those worksheets are linked next to the number three in the description. You're also welcome to join me at any time in my live adult reading class. There I can help you more personally. Again, again, that link is next to the number three in the description below. If you would like an online tutor, I can recommend several. Those are in the description also. Okay, let's get started. Now that we are in a new chunk of lessons, again, those first 10 lessons came from my Begin Reading Packet. The next 80 came from the Learn Reading Program, Lessons 1 through 80. Now, these last 20 lessons in this 100 video series are coming from my Adult Reading Class curriculum, and that is what you are seeing here on the page. These 100 nonsense words, we also work with real words that are difficult to read in the real world. Um, but in this video series, we're going to be working with the nonsense words. If you want these worksheets, again, they're in the class that is in, next to the number three in the description in the adult reading class course. But for now, if you want to just take a picture, you're welcome to do that. But we are going to be working on five in every one of these videos. The first five are what we are going to be working on today. I'm going to do the first one with you. And then the next four are for your extra practice. And then I will come back next time and tell you what those were so that you know that you pronounced them correctly. Now it's important again that you start at the beginning of this whole series at lesson one because lessons one through lessons lesson 80 are all of the reading rules that we are now going to be applying to all of these nonsense words for the last 20 lessons. So I'm not going to be teaching you anything new for these last 20 lessons, but we're going to be applying everything that we've learned to this point. So if, you've, if you have not watched all 80 of those videos yet, then I would do that first and then come and catch up and join us in applying those rules in these last 10 words. So I'm going to start by putting that first word, number one, on our whiteboard here. Okay, this is our nonsense word for today. Now here is what I want you to do when you go and approach the rest of these on your own. You're going to identify the vowel sounds before you do anything else. So you can circle or you can underline, go through the word and identify what all the vowels are. Then we're going to say figure out what they say. We're going to figure out what all of those vowel sounds say in that word, because that's what you've been learning this whole time, is how to identify what a vowel will say based on where it in, sits in the word and the letters that surround it. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to do the tap two rule. So we come to a vowel, we'll tap the next two letters. There's not another vowel there, so it's not going to say its name. It's going to say its regular short sound, I. I is in the middle, always say I, but it, this also follows the tap two rule. Two consonants makes that make its short sound. This O-R says or, that O is gonna make its long sound O. O-R says or most of the time. Then you're going to tap each sound and pronounce it while you, while you, when you come to each sound, you're gonna tap the letter and say the sound. B, O, I. I, p, or, f. Now, I recommend going one sound at a time and then going back to the beginning and grabbing one more sound, going back to the beginning and grabbing one more sound. So it's only two little chunks in your mind. That looks like this. B, bull, bli, bliss, blist. Blisty, blistip, 
bliss to pour. We're going to chunk that whole OR as one sound or one chunk of sound. Bliss to pour. Bliss to pour. Bliss to pour. Now, the rest of those words you are going to do again on your own. We're only going to do to number five in this lesson. So only go this far. We just did this one, bliss to porf. You're going to try this one, this one, this one, and this one on your own. And then I'm going to come back next time and tell you how those were supposed to be pronounced. I'm sure you're going to do them just fine. It may be difficult. It probably will be difficult. That's the point. I want you to have a challenge, but I have given you the tools to succeed with the challenge. So you can do it. Go slow. Go sound by sound. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Most important, if you can, join me in my live adult reading class, which is again in the number three next to the description, so that I can help you personally, because these are challenging. But here you go. If you want to try them on your own, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to answer them. And I will see you in the next video.